Hello all, my name is Pritam and you are watching Tech with Pri. Welcome to my channel and I'm back with another tech video. Hey everyone, so if you are new in this channel, so this is my channel Tech with Pri where I post tech videos. So right now we are going on Windows Server 2016 uh, tutorial and you can find all the videos here. And uh, also very soon we are uh, coming with Microsoft Azure okay the cloud service provider so make sure you subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you can get notified whenever i post a new video all right and also i introduced harry a uh, few months back where we try to you know uh, represent the tech things in a funny way so if you are interested you can go ahead and follow the uh, instagram account all right okay guys so this is the last video of this tutorial series called windows server 2016 and this is the 18th video of the series and uh, we will complete this series today and we'll start new series on cloud computing based on microsoft azure okay so that's gonna be very interesting so guys um let's discuss what we have learned in the last video so in the last video we have seen how we can uh, deploy software in client machines by using the group policy object or the gpo and we have tested it successfully and it works fine we have deployed google chrome in the client machine and every users when logged on so they are able to see the chrome icon in the desktop so user didn't have to install this also all right so if you missed that very interesting video guys don't worry the link is there in the description also you can find the link right now here in your screen so let's see what we are going to learn today in our last windows server 2016 tutorials video so guys today we are going to learn about the windows server backup okay or the windows backup server anything you can say so this is something by which we can uh, use a backup we can create backup we can schedule backup and also we can restore something that has maybe somehow accidentally deleted or maybe you have lost something because of the server fault or any other thing all right we'll see how it works so first we'll install the windows server backup features so this is a features in the windows server 2016 it's already there we just need to install it so first we'll install these features next we'll create a volume for our backup the next will create schedule backup and quick backup i'll show you both okay and finally we'll delete a file and restore it back we'll see if our windows server backup is working or not sounds great so guys make sure you watch the full video and uh, let's get started so okay guys i'm back in my server manager screen in my windows server machine and i'm gonna click on the add role and features because as I've mentioned that this is a features that we need to install. So I'm going to click next. You already have seen all these steps in my all previous videos while installing roles and features. Choose the server. Then in the roles page, I'm gonna, not going to choose anything. In the features page, I'm going to choose the Windows Server Backup option. Here we go. As you can see, Windows Server Backup. I'm going to click it. Next. And now it is asking me to install it. So I'm going to click on install. So here we go. The ins installation has been successful. Okay. As you can see, it is installed in my domain. So I'm going to hit on close. And for this features, we don't need to restart the server. So don't worry for that. So now I'll directly open the Windows Server backup. But before that, what I need to do is that I need to create a volume where I can store the backup. Now, if I just go to the this pc option and as you can see i only have c drive that is size of 49.5 gb so we won't be able to store backup in the same drive all right so now also we can store backup in another server we can create another windows server in another virtual machine and we can store all the backup uh, data in that machine also that you can do so in big organization where the backup really stores so there are separate server called backup server where only the data backup data has been stored okay but for this demonstration we'll store it in our server machine only so i'll just right click on the start option and i'll go to the disk management and from here i will divide this 49 gb or the 50 gb size to two separate volume so that i can have another volume so right now i have only this volume 49 
so I'm gonna right click on it I'm gonna shrink the volume and uh, let's do it okay so it is by default it is asking for shrinking value so let's me give it as around 20 MB or something like that that would be fine so I'm gonna shrink I'm sorry it is 20 GB not 20 MB so you can see now we have a uh, storage space 19.72 GB so let's add a simple volume next 20 GB fine let's choose that E it's okay and this name it as backup okay next finish so here we go we have now the backup volume it's being ready it is formatting now and it's ready now if i just close it now we have another volume that is backup okay now our backup path is ready the volume is ready now let's go to the server manager and we will just go to tools and open the windows server backups the last one so this is the default windows server backup screen so uh, before this video i have tested some backup so this is showing successful backup in this time but no worries i'm going to create this backup again i'm going to show you how you can do it so in the local backup it will give you the last update like where you have done the last backup okay the time and all backups you can see in the details okay so first from the beginning we are we can choose the backup once so this is a quick backup and or the backup schedule so the backup schedule is the obvious answer that we are going to do that and uh, but some in emergency cases we can use the quick backup or the backup now option so i'm going to show you both option so first in the backup schedule what we want to do is that we want to uh, you know there is a folder called image in my uh, disk drive so and the home folder so these are the important folder that we have so we don't want or I don't want this folder should be loose by any mistake so this is a home folder and this is the image folder and in the home folder you know all the users folder are stored like Harry Robert scene we have three so we have already seen that how we can configure the home folder and the video you can find right now here to get a rewind so we don't want this folder should be deleted so I want to back up this home folder and image folder and if it is deleted somehow we can recover it now there is an option if you just go to the next in the wizard so you can recover I mean you can take a backup of the full server so everything every files everything will get backed up you can do that and also you can do custom backup by which you can choose a specific folder or files which you need to which you need backup and it is scheduled in a certain time or in a like every day it can happen or once in a week so you can choose that so if I choose custom for the custom selection of the folders or files I'm gonna click add items now in the C drive I will go to the C drive and I will choose the images and the home folder so let's choose the folder and then click on OK. Then add and then then uh, next. And it is asking for when the backup will be done. So you can choose like once in a day, either more than once a day. All right. So here I can choose the backup once in a day. So I want the backup should be done at uh, at 9 a.m. in the morning. So every time 9 a.m. in the morning, the backup should be run. Or you can run the backup at night time. So if you want, like people, like when whenever people are not using the server or the system, so in that time backup can be done. So you can turn backup like in suppose in 3 a.m. It's fine. So every day 3 a.m. the backup will run. I'm gonna choose next. So here you have few options. So first option is if you have any dedicated hard drive where you can store backup that you can choose or the backup to a volume that we are going to do because we have created a new volume and backup to a shared network folder that I was talking about like when you have a, you know a different server different virtual machine or server where you are storing your backup in that case you're going to choose this option. So I'm going to choose on backup to a volume click on next 
and I'm going to choose add and I'm going to use the backup e volume I'm going to click OK then next it is the confirmation page let's click on finish so the backup is creating the schedule so it is not going to backup your uh, folders right now but it is going to schedule your backup so you have successfully created the backup schedule your first schedule backup will happen at 11 2023 a.m. so today is 10 so tomorrow the backup will run on 11 and 3 a.m. okay I'm gonna close it but I can wait for tomorrow 3 a.m. to show you how it works so in that case I'm gonna run a backup once so you can understand this is kind of an emergency situation where you want to take a backup of certain maybe there is a chance of huge data loss so you don't want to risk for tomorrow 3 a.m. So in this case, choose the option if you have created a schedule backup and want to use the same settings for this backup. And yes, I want to add the same settings. Next, the folder is already selected. Now I'm going to choose backup. So the file size are very low, guys. So it would take a few minutes to load the backup, complete the backup. But uh, in like in big organization where you are working, a backup can be take more than like hour, right? So the backup has been successful now as you can see it is completed and it's just 3 KB. Okay, so it is closed as you can see the backup has been successful. We have scheduled the backup also. Uh, the last backup has been done at 3.50 a.m. And the next backup will be at 3 a.m. That is tomorrow. Now what we are going to do is that I'm going to delete the image file. Let's delete the image file suppose it is deleted somehow in the server location or it can be deleted in the shared folder or shared location also it is deleted now now the image is not there if i just show you again go to c drive and in the images folder the image is not there so the, by using the windows backup now we are going to recover this file so i'm going to click on recover and i want to so in this wizard i'm going to choose this server I'm gonna choose next and uh, it will ask for where is the last backup and or which backups you want to choose so right now I if you just do the drop down as you can see there is two backup has been done 350 just now what I've shown you also in 236 a.m. that I have done for testing purpose all right so I'm gonna choose the 350 one 350 backup and from where I'm gonna get the file so the date you can choose here I'm gonna choose next and uh, you can browse the volume single backup and selected file folders so you can restore entire volume but I want to restore the file and folders only specific file next and now here I'm gonna choose the file here so under C drive under home folder image that's this is the background.png that we want to recover next and I want it should be uh, get into the original location like in the images folder next recover and uh, let's open it here we go the image is there so the backup has been the recovery has been done successfully so guys you can see by using Windows backup features we can use we can recover files and we can we can recover files right and folders and also an entire volume you can recover entire system you can recover so this is the power of windows server backup guys so this is just you can say an idea of windows server backup there are so many things you can do if you want to explore it you can always explore it by googling it so by google by doing google and uh, so this is it for today's video guys Thank you for watching this video and thank you for all the love and support you have given for this Windows Server 2016 series. So very soon the new series is going to come and I'm very excited to teach you about that. So the, again the same thing like if you like the video hit the like button. Any question come to the comment section and please share this video and the playlist with your friends and families so that it can reach out to many people like you. Thank you. See you in the next video. Bye bye.